Well, Duke University admits to using manipulated data to win grants from the Environmental Protection Agency. One America's Leslie Morris has the latest on the ongoing investigation into research fraud at one of the nation's most prestigious schools. Duke University, widely known for its innovation, research, and numerous scholars, is now under fire for its part in a massive research fraud scandal. In-house investigators at Duke are saying Aaron Potts Kant, a former lab technician, falsified or manipulated medical research reports during her time at the university. The probe into Kant began in 2013 when she was implicated in unrelated embezzlement charges. Kant eventually pled guilty to siphoning more than $25,000 from the Duke University health system. After reviewing 36 of her research papers, investigators found that Kant often falsified facts. Kant worked in the lab of Duke pulmonologist Michael Foster, where she worked on projects seeking insight on how climate change affects human respiratory ailments like asthma. She since admitted to generating experiment data that she knew was altered. Former Duke research analyst Joseph Thomas alleges in a lawsuit the school knowingly used the phony data to fraudulently obtain more than 60 federal research grants worth some $200 million. While it acknowledges the falsification of information did in fact take place, Duke University denies it had any knowledge of fraud when applying for federal grants. The university has tried to get the case dismissed, but a federal judge ruled in April it can proceed. It is proven to be one of the largest FCA suits ever to focus on research misconduct in academia. Officials inside the Trump administration say they're working on ways to develop more rigorous review techniques for evaluating this type of climate research. Leslie Morris, One American News.